In this video, I'm going to uh, discuss some uh, basic uh, trig graphs. So let us start with the, the most basic uh, trig graphs, which is say y is equal to sine of x. So we want to sketch these graphs and see how they look like. Okay, y is equal to sine of x. Okay, now you can plot points and uh, draw the graph. Now. To draw a sine graph, uh, let us start by making up a table. Suppose x is x and y. Let us make two columns, y, x and y. y is equal to sine of x. OK, so when x is 0, you can use your calculator. So sine 0, so your y would be sine 0, which is 0. When it is 90, sine 90 is 1. Then when you got 180, we'll do this on a calculator. Uh, sine 180 is uh, 0. Then sine 270 is negative 1. Sine 270 is negative 1. And sine 360 is again 0. OK, so, so 0, 90, 180. So let us check this on a calculator. Suppose this is my calculator. This is how you can do. Uh, go to your table menu, uh, go to your table menu and type in sine of x or sine x. Okay, now before we draw the uh, set the value, we need to set the scale, or sorry, set, look up the setup. I want to uh, find the values in degrees. So my calculator is in radians, so you have to go shift set up and change the degrees okay and now you want to find your values from 0 to 360 a step of 10, 90 okay so this is what I'm saying when x is 0 your y which is sine x is 0 1 0 negative 1 and 0 and if suppose you want to go up to say 720 say two cycles I'll come to that later okay so yeah this is called one cycle or one period and again you get the next cycle okay so we want to draw only one cycle so yeah the maximum is one so this is the maximum this is the maximum and this is the minimum and zero is your baseline zero is called the baseline so this is called the baseline. So in other words, your sine graph is oscillating between plus 1 and minus 1. And your baseline is 0. So to draw the graph, what you do is, suppose this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. Okay, so this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. And this is 0. Okay, and I'll draw a line for... This is say maximum, it's not drawn to scale, and this is minimum. So as I said, your sine graph is oscillating between plus one, this is your maximum, and this is your minimum. So this is, let me write this is the maximum, and this is the minimum. So we need to talk about some crucial words. So I'll draw four uh, steps here. One, two, three, four. So this is one period. So this is 90, 180, 270, 360. So I'll write 360 here. I'll write 90 and the rest later on. So sine 0 is 0. So let me use a different color. So sine 0 is 0. Sign your sign, your basic sine graph, which is, this is your basic sine graph, starts at 0, hits maximum at 90, then hits the baseline. Then this is minimum, and this is, again, your baseline. So this is one cycle or one period. So let me draw the sine curve. Your basic sine graph looks like this. OK, so yeah, this is your maximum. So you, this is your 90. At 90, you hit the maximum. So this is 90 degrees. This is 0 degrees. This is 180 degrees. And this is 270 degrees. 
So this is called one period. So this is called, let me use a different color, say so this is your amplitude. This is your amplitude. Okay. Now I want you to see the amplitude in the equation. Okay, this is the amplitude, this is also the amplitude. So in this equation, so let us write the main features. The main features is, for any sine graph, you need to decide the amplitude. So I'll write in short amplitude, AMP. The amplitude is 1 here for this graph. That means from the baseline, this is your baseline. So let me write your baseline here, BL for short. So your uh, amplitude is the distance from the baseline to the maximum or from the baseline to the minimum. So the amplitude is 1. So you're going one up or one down. Okay, your period is 360 degrees. So within 360 degrees, sine curve completes one cycle. Now, if you drew two periods, it will be within two seven sorry 720 degrees. It will finish two cycles. Okay, so these are the two things that you need to amplitude and period. And yeah, you can see the pitch. This is called the pitch. So here, here you can say your pitch or your step is 90 degrees. We are going at a pitch of 90 degrees. Now, how did I get 90? So you go 360. Whatever is your period divided by 4 gives you 90 degree. Okay. You can understand this, of course, from this or also from the unit circle. This can be explained. Okay. So let us draw... Now, what happens if, suppose, let me use a different color, y is equal to minus sine x. y is equal to minus sine of x. So here, this is, this sine graph will flip over. So let, let me show this on a calculator first before we move on to minus sine x. So if you go to graph, Okay, and then type in, so let me delete, and then type in sine of x. And we need to change the scale. I want the scale from, I want a trig scale. So I want a trig scale from 0 to 360. Scale of 90, and y scale is fine because we know the maximum is 1, negative, maximum is 1, and minimum is negative 1. So this scale of y is all right. And then draw, this is your sine curve. So if you want to check the maximum GSOL, the maximum, you can see maximum is at 91. And minimum and minimum is at uh, 270. Now, just to show you, what is your Y value when X is 180? Okay. So this is, this is 0 at 0. This is 91. This is 180, 0. This is 270, negative 1 and 360. Zero. So this is one full cycle. Now, before I draw the graph, can you visualize what would be the type of graph by putting a minus here? Here, the basic sign graph or plus, I guess plus sign here, it goes up. So with a minus, use your logic and tell me where would the sign graph go? What are, what is the transformation that you can uh, visualize? So yeah, this is my. So it has the maximum and minimum. The maximum and minimum would not change. Okay, so let me. Uh, so this is your maximum and minimum. And so this is, so let me use this color. So this is 90, 0 degrees. This is 90, 180, 270, 360. Okay, so yeah. As it is minus, instead of going up, so this is your 1 and this is your negative 1. We'll confirm this on a calculator. So this is your maximum and this is your minimum. So from here, instead of going to the maximum, it will go to the minimum. So this will go to the minimum, baseline, maximum, and baseline. So the graph would look like this. So this is your minus sine graph. So it goes, hits the minimum baseline, maximum, and back to baseline. So let us check this on a 
calculator. So uh, let me draw on the same graph minus sign of x. So first, this is your, the top part is your plus sign x, and this is your minus sign x. So this is a beautiful design. So this is plus sign x. So if you want to see only minus sign of x, uh, so this is from baseline, it goes to the minimum, baseline, maximum, and minimum. I'll draw, continue drawing other graphs in my next video. video.